Okay, so I'm going to show you today how to get unlimited mercers in the new game mode for Hitman 3, Freelancer, as you can see here. It does require a little bit of grinding before you can do this, not too much. You're basically going to just go to your safe house. You need to have, you need to be mastery level 16. There are a hundred mastery levels in Freelancer and you need 16 to unlock uh, the vault. And the vault, the reason you need that has a computer or a laptop in it that allows you to check the stock market. Now it doesn't really tell you when you first do it that checking the stock market plays your Mercers a random amount. You don't know if it's going to play all of it, if it's going to play some of it, but it is going to play an amount, and you are going to win or lose. There's no in-between. You win or lose. And if you lose, you cannot play again until you start a mission and complete it or fail that mission. Then it will be available again. So this, as you guys should know by now, is the Freelancer Hideout. I'll just show you what I was talking about here. If you go to mastery level i've just unlocked this myself not too long ago or actually i just passed it right here safe house area vault you need that unlocked to do that once that's unlocked you simply go through here straight down here to this double door at the end of the call corridor and in here is the vault and a single laptop, as I mentioned, that says check stock market. When you do this, again, you will bet a random amount of Mercers, which you can see in my top right-hand corner, uh, on the market. And you're either going to win or lose. And you don't know how much. You're going to either, you could lose it all, you could lose a little bit, uh, you could also, same thing, win double, or you could lose a little bit. The only thing is, as long as you win, you can keep going and do it again and again, but the chances of winning more than once in a row are very, very low. So I don't suggest doing that. If you do lose, you cannot play again, as I said, until you start a mission. What's cool about this room is when you first start and you don't have a lot of mercers, there's really the bare bones in here. I think this little cart right here has the money on it, but you won't see any of these gold bars and a lot of the money. You definitely won't see that painting there or the ship on the desk. So as you win, it gets there. But anyway, what I this is so random, but what I like to do, if you notice there's a black uh, cross here in the screen with a dot, I like to bet when that little dip is coming up. So I'm going to do it right about now. See if I can hit the dip. And I hit the dip. You see that? That's that's my best chance to get it. We got 7,000. That's really good. So now I want to save that. The other only thing I suggest doing before saving this is see how my gear capacity is 10. Go around to any of your open areas uh, or weapons and everything and get all your gear that you want to you want saved so you don't have to keep doing the gear over for this. So then get geared up after you win um, and pick your territory that you're going to attack next. Pick any uh, additional objective. I already have, oh, I need to change this. I need, um, gonna go for this. All right, and then you're simply going to start Have a the mission. Trip, now what this does is now save that money we just won. This is the only time that triggers a save. Other, see, it just says saving there. So now you know it saved your money. So now the next step is, is equally as important. So you, got, you made a win in the stock market. It saved it. Now how do you take that win back to the safe house? and play again without actually having to go through a whole mission. I'm going to cut this here so you don't have to look at the loading. 
Welcome to Sapienza. Intel tells us that you the can skip that. Members are currently in the area. What you Let don't do, do is you. this. Do not However, this is exit. No do not park. pause and then they exit to main alert. menu. So if you do be. that, it will take you... you know Shut up, Diana. Sense. It will take you out of this board, but you will lose half of your mercers, and you will lose all items in your safe house aside from the guns. So don't ever exit a mission, even if you weren't doing this. Ever do that. It's never a good idea. So what we need to do now, now that it's saved that, we need to basically just pause it, hit the Xbox button, then go down to your Hitman game, then hit the options button, and go to quit, which is basically a forced quit of the game. Then you're just simply going to go in and restart the game. As you see, we are doing here. I'll cut this part out, but basically I'm just going to let the game reload now, and I'm going to go back into the safe house, and we'll pick it up from there. All right. We are loaded back into the safe house, and you see it's going to load you right into the main area here. And you can see my money is still this 31,000. So we simply now go back to the vault and play the stock market again. Let's see if I got any other new stuff in here since that win doesn't look like it. But again, this room will fill up the more money you get. Uh, and again, I want to do it during the dip. That's my personal choice or uh, advice here comes the dip we want that black dot where the crosshair meets to end on the dip so right about here doesn't always work worked again you see that's that's i haven't seen anybody mention that but that has been at least for me the most consistently way to get money to win the stock market is to hit it on that dip Again, it doesn't work 100% of the time, but you can see I've gotten it twice in a row now. I'll do it again until I lose, just so I can show you. All right, so now we've won. I should have just, yeah, I c then once you win, you come back down here. Same thing. Pick your thing. Um, you may have it like mine since we exited. I still have the prestige thing, so you don't need to do that again if it still shows up there. And just go and start the mission again I'll be in touch when you reach your destination I'm going to cut this again because basically I'm going to do the same exact thing I just want to show you what to do when you lose so I'm gonna go into the board I'm simply gonna go into the board same thing I'm going to pause it when the board loads I'm gonna hit the Xbox button go down to hitman 3 hit the options button on hitman 3 and then do quit which will force quit the game and then I'm going to reload the game so when after this cut, we will be back into the safe house again. All right, we are loading back in. And as you can see, I still have the 38,000. So back at it. We go down here. Now, this is very time consuming just because you have to force quit the game every single time and reload the game. You know, a board. Did I get anything new in here? Doesn't look like it. So maybe at 40,000. Who knows? All right, let's hide, try to hit the dip again. Again, I go by this crosshair on the screen where that black dot is in the middle, and I try to hit it right on that cap where it's the little mountain before that dip. So right about here. And I want again, so this, I'm thinking this works. I haven't lost yet. Uh, keep hitting it right where that pink is. Not winning. I haven't hit a double or anything very huge yet. Did I get anything extra in the room yet? But it's working consistently. And if you play this stock market, you, you, you'll you know how super easy it is to lose money. Like almost every time you lose. It's like a very high percent. Like this three wins in a row like this is very rare. So I think... I think I'm actually on to something. I think I'm the first one to figure that out to get that crosshair and hit it on the dip. 
because there's only two dips. That one very small one I'm lost, <laughs> and the bigger one that I just did. So again, I'm just gonna pick the again. I'm just gonna pick the mission. I'm gonna purposely lose this time just so I can show you guys. So I'm not gonna do anything different here other than I'm gonna start the mission and then um, force quit it. Safe journey, 47. And then we'll be back at the safe house and I'm gonna purposely lose this or attempt to lose this time. All right, let's back again. Let's see if I can lose. You know, when I'm not filming, I lose all the time. This is what's funny. Now that I'm filming, I can't lose. So I just go right in. All right, so you see there, 10,000 lost. But you see, I can't play again. You see the stock market has crashed, as you can see, which is funny. Um, what you don't want to do from here, you would think, oh, well, what a, since it's not saving, can't I just come in here and exit to main menu? No, 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 no. Do not do that. That will save. That's the only time it saves from the safe house, is if you exit the menu, and then you'll be stuck with whatever you lost. So whatever you lose from here, you go ahead and same thing you would do when you started a mission when you won. Pause it or whatever, go hit the Xbox button, then scroll down to the Hitman 3 game, hit the menu button, and force quit. All right, we are back in the safe house after losing, and as you can see, the money is all back again. So just to recap, you need mastery level 16 to unlock the vault. Uh, once in the vault, you can play the stock market and you will lose random amount of, of money, lose or gain. I like to play it right when this crosshair, the dot is right before the second dip, which is coming up. I like to hit it right. I'll do it one more time for you guys. May not work, but it seems to work more than it does not right about here you see worked again i think it i think that's a really good thing hit it on that dip that's my advice that's the first i'm the first to ever mention that so if you see anybody else say to hit it during that dip they got it from me all right and yeah then you go ahead, ooh, I got a trophy down there now. So I'm getting more stuff. I got some toolboxes. I don't know if they were there before. But yeah, and then you'd, you'd go start the mission. As soon as the mission starts, you hit the Xbox button, scroll down to Hitman 3. Again, you'd hit the Xbox button, scroll down to Hitman 3, hit options. I'm not going to do it. Scroll down and then quit. Then it goes back to the home screen. You load up the game and repeat. The only time you do different than that would be is if you came in here and you played this and lost. If you lost from here, then you would do it from here. You would hit the Xbox button, go down to Hitman 3, quit. Then you would reload and get your money back. And you just keep going until you get enough money. Now, like I said, all of the collector weapons are 40,000 or more. So a good number to probably do this till would be about a couple hundred thousand, I would think. That way you can get any weapons you want during the mission. One other tip I will give you that is helpful is whenever you, the mission objectives are, if there's a special explosive kill or whatever, the supplier will always sell that type of weapon for mercers. But they do not sell duplicates of what you have in your inventory so if your inventory is full of everything here you're not going to get uh, possibly what you need i haven't gotten everything full so maybe when it is full you do but normally this you don't get duplicates the seller doesn't uh, sell duplicates and that is it that is how to get unlimited mercers until they probably patch this if they can without messing up the mode that's it